Hi ladies, this is Milan here and I wanted to come to you and shoot this video today because I have my scallops and I did mention that I would have my scallops. So I wanted to shoot this video about confidence levels around food because one of the things that I notice about a lot of women, especially those who I, co who I coach and work with, is that as women, we can be very confident. We can be so confident that people will notice where the, we are the most confident woman in the room. But what I notice that a lot of women fall off in being confident is the confidence levels falls off when it comes to what happens at home around food. So we. creative as you want to be. You can do whatever you want to do. You can add whatever you want to add in your ingredients. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video, boosting our confidence levels around eating and dining and at home. So whenever you're um, starting to cook scallops, and scallops is something that I find um, uh, even just most fish, women become very uncomfortable around certain types of fish and cooking it. And I grew up in a home where my mom's confidence love around fish or seafood so many was things you can do with it. fish and there's a lot of health benefits with fish as long working with working with scallops you want to make sure that in order to have the beautiful sear because if you're going to be confident in the kitchen you must be confident around food and i put paper towel on top in order to make a beautiful fish scallops you want to make sure that the heat is hot but before you even put it on the heat, you want to make sure that everything has been mise en place. So that's what it means to be confident in the kitchen. So mise en place, if you look at some of my previous videos, you'll see the mise en place basically means having everything in its place. So I have my grapeseed oil, and you know me. <laughs> I do not use olive oil in cooking. I only use grapeseed oil because grapeseed oil it can withstand those high heat temperatures. So when you have a really hot pan, you want to use the correct oil. And I know for years, you know, um, the medical in medical industry says, you know, olive oil is the best thing and it's heart healthy. Well, it is. It's very heart healthy. But the problem is when you're cooking with high heat and you're cooking with olive oil on the high heat, you're burning it. So all of those beautiful, amazing things that you need from that olive oil, those beautiful omegas that your body needs, that your body cannot make, you're destroying them. So that's why you need to use an oil um, that always stays liquid at room temperature. But grapeseed oil is a perfect oil because it's flavorless, so the flavor will never com conflict or, or, or compete with the taste of like coconut oil or something like that and also um, it doesn't have an odor either so I always use grapeseed oil so first I want to get my pan hot and I see it smoking so now that it's hot you can see it's starting to smoke and I'm only going to do one of these let you see it right now um, or maybe a couple so you with scallops there is what's called a muscle abdominis you want to take that off this is not good this is this is very chewy, so you definitely want to take this off. And it's easy to identify on your um, scallops because it sticks out completely from the rest of it. Notice that. See how it looks? So we're going to take this off, just that little piece. And just look for it around the others. So my pan is hot, so I'm going to put some oil in. I don't know if you can see it's it in already. If you ever cook, then just, you know, do a towel. I don't know, Milan doesn't know what she's talking about, but if you're ever curious to see exactly what I'm talking about, you can leave one of these on and you'll notice a difference immediately from the rest of the scallop. So these little pieces here, the muscle is very is tough. It is not tasty whatsoever. So now that I have most, there's one more. Like I said, they stick out from the rest of it. So now that I have all of those off, just make sure, okay, perfect. 
So now that I have all of those off, you want to salt. You want to salt and pepper. Never forget to salt and pepper. And I always salt high up because I want to make sure that I am covering everything on the scallop. And when you use salt high up, we call it make it rain in culinary um, in the restaurants. Um, so you're just making sure that everything has been, the salt is saturated over the entire scallop. And then of course, you can add pepper. Sometimes it takes away from the presentation, only add a small amount because I don't want the first thing you see to be pepper. So my pan is hot. I'm gonna get rid of some of that oil because it's a little much for me. So I'm just gonna get rid of a little, just a little oil, not a lot. So now that we our pan is hot, once you see it start to smoke, then you can put your uh, scallops in. And you can t you can test it if you're not sure if it's really hot. Um, you can just test it a little to see if it is. But don't be afraid of the sound of the heat and the and and the only reason that it will splatter is if you drop it in. So you just want to take it and just glide it in and just quickly move your hand away. If you think that you may burn yourself, just always use one of these. You can always have it handy close by. And another thing that makes me more confident in the kitchen is that to be very confident in the kitchen, you should be prepared. So I always have this. This is my handy dandy little uh, garbage catcher. So I keep a little plastic in there. So as soon as I fill up, then maybe take all of this and dump it away. Less of a mess on the counter space. Um, I keep everything that I need work close by. I have my cutting board, a little nice square. Um, I have everything next to my heat. So now we're gonna get started. So I'm putting the first one in. And I have this on high heat. I'm putting the second one in. Give them a little room. You don't want to crowd your pan. Because if you crowd your pan, what will happen is you will create moisture. And moisture is not what we want. We don't want that. We want to sear. So you let them sit for a few minutes because we want to get a nice, beautiful brown color. And don't touch them. You may be tempted to touch them at this moment, but don't touch them yet. Because you want the heat to push them away from the hot pan and that's how you get the beautiful sear. I feel like my hands are only talking right now. Let me come down. Um, so you definitely want to make sure that you don't touch. Let the heat push the um, protein away from the, con the contact of the skillet. So you want it to push it away. If you pull it away too quickly, if you pull this up, What's going to happen is you're going to pull the skin. But you can always turn it over and test it. So you're going to pull the skin if you pull it over a little bit too much. We're going to add a little more oil. But if you notice how it's not, um, there's, there's, the heat is perfect. It's very smoked, so you want to make sure you definitely have your doors open or windows open. Because one thing I've noticed is that your exhaust from your microwave, it, it's not going to do it. As a chef, we always cook with high heat because we want to get in and get out of the kitchen. And we want to be able to color. So now that this has started to turn, you still, it's not quite there yet. I'm going to show you. See? It's not, that's not the look that I'm quite looking for. Well, this one is, so that one's perfect. So now that I've seasoned up the first side, I'm going to season my second side. And the beauty about salt is that salt helps in the browning process. So now we can turn this one over. And then we can turn this one over. And that one. It's still cooking. Even when I've taken it off the heat, it's still cooking. You want to lay it on paper towel, so the paper towel can absorb all of the oil that came from it. So now that we're we're gonna do the last four, why not, right? <laughs> 
So our heat is still is still hot. And we have two left. This side looks this side looks a lot smoother and looks better than this side. So that's the side we're gonna start with. Whichever side is the smoothest and looks the best is the side you want to start with. So confidence in the kitchen is really about temperature and timing. So the temperature is just perfect. It's a high heat temperature. Um, you don't want to burn it, so you can turn it maybe to medium at a certain point. But it doesn't take long to cook scallops. You can easily overcook them. But if you notice the other ones, they came out perfect. Even on the back side, they're still beautiful. So they're still hot, but they're still cooking. So once we're finished with the other ones, and then we plate them up, we're going to I'm going to add in butter. So I have my butter standing ready because I want to make a nice, beautiful sauce. Really super easy, super quick to go on top of it. You only need a little butter for a fast lot. flavor. And being confident in the kitchen is all about um, being able to enjoy food, not allowing restrictions on things. I have a 80-20 rule, so I eat healthy 80% of the time, and 20% of the time I eat whatever I want to eat without feeling guilty about it. So if I want to have some gelato, I'll have my gelato. If I want to have, <laughs> if I want something else, I will definitely have that something else. So never be, um, if you're trying to cut back and you feel that your health is at stake or you're having some um, weight issues, then of course you definitely want to trim back that instead of 80, 20, maybe go a little bit higher, higher not higher. So this is perfect. I'm gonna flip that over. Okay, now to the edge. Bring the camera down like you see. So these are the last four. So you can see there's a uniformity from the first set to the second set. Now, do you think, let me know if you think this is easy. Just type a comment and let me know. Yeah, that's easy. I can do that. I just want to double check the bottom side, see what they look like. And I'm going to add a little oil just to check. And I'm going to take them off. The way to stop butter from burning at high temperatures is to add oil. So this time we are going to add olive oil because we want to bring down the temperature of the butter without it burning. And you want to take it off the fire. Because butter burns at such a rapid rate, once you take it off the fire, then it starts to cool down. I'm going to take them on. If you choose to, I'm not going to rinse them. Uh, if you have high blood pressure, then you definitely want to make sure that you rinse papers because they are loaded with sodium. This is the easiest part. Just If you're having guests, this is most, one of the most beautiful uh, entrees that you can serve. It's very quick. don't require you to be in the kitchen all day. Um, people will just love it. Um, you can chop up some fresh herbs. Put a little bit of green. And then I'm going to add right down the middle. So you're going to have that butter taste and you're also going to have that capers. So being confident in the kitchen is all about time and technique. And that's it. So enjoy your, enjoy your beautiful scallops. Now I hope you enjoy some fresh herbs, maybe some parsley, and sprinkle them on top and you have a beautiful, delicious entree that you can feel more confident in your kitchen.